videos. Hey. So we're finally giving you guys the video that literally so many people have been asking for. Yeah. As you guys know, Avery is about to be six months and by the time this goes up, she might be six months. Yeah. And Sam and I were have not slept for literally five and a half months. Mm -hmm. So like the title of this video, we hired a sleep consultant because sleep is so important mm -hmm. and if you sleep train your child, that's great. If you decide not to sleep train your child, that's, that's amazing too. You do what you want, but sleep is very vital for mm -hmm. our health, for Avery's health, and we truly just could not take it anymore. Yeah, and when um, we say that like we hired a sleep consultant because we weren't sleeping and whatever, like literally, it was bad. Yeah, babies wake up and they have issues sleeping and whatever because they're learning and they're brand new. But we would put her down and literally rock her to sleep. We went through uh, one, two, three other sleep training programs. Unfortunately, Avery is very spirited and those things did not work. So we decided to hire someone and all of her information will be in the description below if you guys want to uh, have her work with you. She lives, I mean, she has people who live in the Austin and Nashville area. Yeah. So if you live in those areas, she can actually physically come to your house. If not, mm -hmm. then you can do a Skype session, which I think is also very beneficial. Yeah. With that being said, the program is two weeks long. Mm -hmm. And for two weeks, she gives you a complete detailed, specific to your child yeah. program um, of what you should do. And this is all based off of all the information that you have given her yeah. um, about your child mm -hmm. specifically. So it's not just one set program, which we thought was really appealing to us because yeah. all the other programs um, for us, we felt like we're just one and that's it. Yeah. And they um, have high <clears throat> success rates, mm -hmm. you know, like everything from moms on call to taking care of babies, like they have very high success rates. So we were positive. We were, we went into them very mm -hmm. positive and they sadly just didn't work. Cause like Alyssa said, Avery is very spirited yeah. and it just didn't happen for us. Yeah. So Sam and I hired her, she mm -hmm. came to our house, we talked to her for about two hours, mm -hmm. she met Avery, she saw her sleep situation, mm -hmm. and she corrected things that we um, didn't do, or she yeah. told us to do things, um, she took out things mm -hmm. from her situation, so it's very hands-on, it's very yeah. like personal, which we loved. Yeah. Um, so like we said, it's a two-week program, mm -hmm. and we're gonna just tell you week one and week two, we're not gonna tell you every single day because that's yeah. boring as hell. And we're also not gonna give you like specific details just because we appreciate her and the help that she provided and we think that she's definitely worth every penny that was paid um, and we don't want to give that away yeah. for free. So week one, she told us that week one was mm -hmm. going to be the hardest week. Yeah, with um, days three and four <laughs> being mm -hmm. kind of the hardest. Yeah. So she told us that babies learn nighttime sleep before they learn naps. Um, so week one was actually really, really easy. And week two was actually the harder week. Yeah. Um, so week one, we would say that there were a couple days of roughness. Yeah. But honestly, like it might have been Avery's age mm -hmm. that helped her be able to go to sleep. And put herself to sleep yeah. is what we mean when we say go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Because that was something that we were not doing before. Mm -hmm. We would go in, and I think we talked about it in another video, we would literally go in, rock slash bounce her on the yoga ball to sleep until she was fully asleep and then put her down. Mm -hmm. Which is not helping because then she wakes up in the middle of the night and is kind of like, oh, I need to be rocked to go back to sleep. Yeah. Um, this Lori person, her, her name is Lori, mm -hmm. she uh, told us take out the rocking, take out the bouncing, mm -hmm. pop that yoga ball, don't use it yeah. ever again. And we are so happy to say that it's been a little over two weeks now mm -hmm. and we have not bounced or rocked her once At all. to sleep At and all. that is amazing. So first week we decided that we also wanted Avery to learn how to not need us in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. not need to eat in the middle of the night. We were still feeding her beforehand about one to two times in the middle of the night because we assumed, oh, she's waking up. She must be hungry, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, which I think is a common mistake that a lot of first time parents mm -hmm. have. Um, 
and your child may be hungry, that may be true, but if you yeah. feed them and they still don't go back to sleep, then they're probably, they probably weren't hungry and they probably just wanted you, mm -hmm. um, which isn't a bad thing. And we probably were waking her up even more because yeah. most of the time when babies make, wake up in the middle of the night, they're not technically awake. Mm -hmm. um, so by us going and, you know, helping her or, you know, picking her up and, rock, you know, whatever, we were further waking her up. Yeah. So the first week we definitely um, went in only after midnight to feed her. If she woke up only after midnight, mm -hmm. we fed her. Yeah. Um, anytime before that, we did not go in. Yep. Nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So we definitely fed her, but we fed her less than we usually feed her because yeah. it trains her to not need food in the middle of the night, which she technically didn't need anyways. Yeah. So, so we only first, gave her two ounces. Yeah. So the first week we did um, a little, uh, like a few ounces and then dropped it and dropped it and dropped it and dropped it. Yeah. The second week, second week was actually harder than the first week, mm -hmm. which was the opposite of what she said was going to happen. Mm -hmm. But Avery has, is a mind of her own. She's a, she's a yeah. spirited little girl. And so when we say harder, we mean rough. Yeah. But significantly better. Yeah, meaning that she done. woke up more the second week than mm -hmm. she did the first week. And it took her longer to put herself back to yeah. sleep. Yeah. The second week, though, we decided that we were not going to feed her at all in the middle of the night mm -hmm. because realistically she didn't need it because yeah. she was feeding throughout the day enough. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say that the longest, the longest it took her to put herself to sleep was about 55 minutes yeah. one of the nights. That was one night out of the two weeks. Yeah. And and that... then there were a couple days in in the two weeks. I think I think it was maybe the end of the first week, beginning of the second week, where she woke up in the middle of the night and it took about like 45 minutes to an hour to put herself back to sleep. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I mean when she's waking up in the middle of the night, like that time got increasingly less and less that it would take for her mm -hmm. to put herself back to sleep. I mean, now I think we're at like, she takes like two minutes and she's back out. Yeah, these also apply to naps. Mm -hmm. um, and basically we love this program because like we said, it was very direct towards just our child, not yeah. all children in general, mm -hmm. just towards our child for age group. Um, mm -hmm. Her specifically, yeah. um, and don't get, don't get me wrong. Lori was a little a little hesitant. She was like she wasn't confidently telling us in the beginning that yeah. your child will sleep through the night because I think I think we scared her a little bit because but of honestly, how yeah. spirited Avery yeah. is. Well, and we also kind of let her know that like hiring a sleep consultant, which is true, you know, was kind of our last resort. Mm -hmm. You know, because we had tried everything else. You know, we've tried all of the different method methods. We've tried all the different swaddles. Mm -hmm. You know blackout curtains, sound machines, yada, yada, yada. Like, it, we tried it all. Mm -hmm. So I think there was a lot of pressure for her um, because all of our eggs were kind of in this basket. Yeah. But but now um, it's been a little over two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, Avery puts herself to sleep for mm -hmm. every single nap, mm -hmm. every single nighttime, mm -hmm. um, every single bedtime. Yeah. Uh, sh we do not rock her, bounce her, nothing like that. Yeah. She goes to sleep. And she sleeps 12 hours, yeah. which is amazing. Sometimes a little over 12 hours, depending mm -hmm. on what time she goes to bed. And sometimes that, a little that less. Fluctuate. Yeah. Um, and when we say she sleeps 12 hours, it doesn't mean that in that 12 hours she does not wake up at mm -hmm. all, because I think that's unrealistic. As yeah. people, we wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom yeah. to because we're uncomfortable, because we need to change positions of how we're sleeping, mm -hmm. and that still applies to like a baby. Yeah. So she does wake up in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. She might wake up, turn, make a little noise, go mm -hmm. back to sleep. Yeah. She might wake up for five minutes. She might wake up for 30 minutes, but mm -hmm. she always puts herself back to sleep. Yeah. And it has literally like, changed our life yeah like i don't know if you've seen in the previous videos like we, we look busted we were we look busted <laughs> we were truly like miserable in a sense of yeah. not being moms but miserable in a sense mm -hmm. of we were so tired like we felt like we weren't human we felt yeah. like we couldn't even communicate we felt like we couldn't even function throughout the day yeah. because all we were thinking about was how tired we were because and it got really bad. And I mean, honestly, like the week leading up to our our meeting in-house with um, the sleep consultant, it was so bad. There were nights when literally we would, 
it would take an hour to put her down at night and then she'd sleep for three, maybe four hours and then we'd feed her and she was up and then she'd sleep in increments of like 20 minutes. Yeah, so it got, it got bad, y'all. Like I'm like, talking tears in the middle of the night. Oh my God, I can't do this anymore. There were a lot of, of, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot yeah. of crying from all parts. Yeah. Um, a so, lot of arguing on our part. Yeah, you know? 100%. Because we weren't functioning humans. You know, yeah. you need sleep to function. Yeah. Babies need sleep to function. And honestly, like, you know, we've gotten comments where, you know, people are like, oh, like, trying to sleep train, train your young baby is selfish and whatever, but it's, it's really not. It's not selfish because since we have sleep trained Avery, she has been so much happier. Obviously, she she's a baby. More. She has her moments, but like, truly, 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 sleeping changes your entire, yeah. like, personality yeah. it really it really does like she was so unhappy all mm -hmm. the time because sleep is so crucial for her neurological like yeah. function for her emotional like everything yeah. is so dependent on sleep that's true no matter who you are no matter what age you are yeah. um so we were unhappy we and, were so unhappy you know i mean like that's not fun either mm -hmm. like when you're on an airplane, you're told to put your mask on before your child's. And honestly, like, this this was that for us. Like, we needed this sleep not only for us, but for her too, for her development, and for us to feel like good moms throughout the day. Mm, yeah. So, we are so happy that she sleeps, mm -hmm. and that she of is course. so much happier, yeah. and that she, like, we are so much happier, we, felt, we feel now like, we are good moms, which I think is something that Sam we and I didn't with. feel like yeah. we were good moms. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and of course, like we're saying this now, and you know, she she might not sleep as long tonight. She might sleep longer tomorrow night, or whatever. It's going to fluctuate, and mm -hmm. we're well aware of how it can fluctuate, especially with regressions and all of that. You know, but I feel like with the sleep consultant we were given tools that have made it so much easier for us to be able to be like, you know what, like bring it on. Yeah, so yeah, we are just really happy. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of you guys were probably worried about us a little bit because those are the messages we got. Yeah. But um, if you guys want to get a sleep consultant, I highly, highly, highly re recommend her. Yeah. She's worth every penny, like we mm -hmm. said. Yeah. Um, and this is not like sponsored. We're, she would, didn't ask us to make a video about this. Like, no, nothing. This was, you know, we honestly just truly believe in her. And if you have local sleep consultants in your area that you would like to use or whatever, you feel like you're at wit's end, do it. Yeah. Worth every penny. Yeah. Anyways, we love you guys. Bye. Bye. Ben. Did you just wake up from a nap? You sleep through the night? Did you just wake up from a nap? Hey. I